Severe storms are one of the major contributors to coastal, coastal erosion, a major threat to Australia's 34,000 kilometre coastline. Now, a new technology is helping in the fight to protect our shores. Nicolina Carapay has the details. They are devastating scenes that many Sydney residents would be familiar with. Intense storms in 2016, which lashed the New South Wales coast, causing significant erosion at Narrabeen Collaroy Beach, leaving some homes teetering on the edge. Large waves which can build from the Antarctic all the way through to the east coast mean that many communities in New South Wales are particularly prone to quite dangerous surf events. Now an award-winning reef design that's helping to protect beaches over 1,000 kilometres away may be the new age solution Australian beaches have been looking for. The Dell Eco Reef, which sits off the coast of Clifton Springs in Victoria, is changing the way we tackle coastal erosion. They provide a, um, a wave break and that reduces the height of the waves, therefore the wave energy that hits the beach. The nature-based artificial reef has created a permeable barrier, helping to reduce erosion since it was installed in 2022. And the 46 concrete wave break modules have become somewhat of a hot destination, simultaneously promoting marine biodiversity. They have a number of different cavities or hidey holes for different critters. So the reefs are providing co-benefits in terms of uh, habitat. One barrier researchers have when it comes to coastal erosion, however, is tracking the phenomenon, something engineers at the University of New South Wales have employed the help of the public for. Coast Snap allows the community to be part of beach monitoring and tackling issues such as coastal erosion. Anyone can download the app and submit a photo of their view. Each of the pixels in each image um, gets assigned to a GPS coordinate and we essentially turn the image into a top-down satellite image. And then we use another analysis technique uh, to actually extract where the shoreline is. And the data has led to a surprising find at the very beaches which were impacted by the wild 2016 storms. As we come into this El Nino period, uh, and especially this last winter, uh, we've seen a lot of beaches recovering. So a really good example of that is an analysis that we did at our North Narrabeen site. And we actually took two images uh, close to a year apart from what we saw, almost 40 metres of beach recovery. It's positive news for many coastal residents in Sydney and across the nation that are at the mercy of wild waves and long-term weathering. Nicolina Carufe, Sky News Weather.